So not too long ago on Try This at Home, we showed you how to make a power-assisted brake bleeder. Now, today we're going to be showing you how to make something that some people have said could be a prop from a Cheech and Chong film, and uh, others say is the most useful tool for finding a vacuum leak in a car in the world. So, what you're going to need, an empty paint can. Now, you could use one that had paint in it, but I opted to get a brand new paint can from Lowe's. It was about five bucks for this paint can. You're also going to need a brass hose barb that this one I chose has eighth inch ID, quarter inch male pipe thread on the other side. And I got a brass pipe nipple that's a quarter inch male thread, which will fit air compressor fitting. Now, I guess I should explain what we're building. This is essentially a air compressor powered smoke generator. You'll light something on fire inside, whether it's an oily rag or some other thing of your choice, and then connect your air compressor to it. The other hose that'll be coming out, you'll feed into a vacuum port on your car, plug off the intake with something, and make sure before you do that, turn your air compressor down to like two PSI. You don't want to blow seals out of your car or blow the lid off of this. So make sure the air compressor is turned down. Then after you connect it, smoke will seep out through any cracks or leaks or any places that air could be getting in when the engine is running. So I'm going to be doing this. So what you're going to need, those things, as well as some kind of solder or uh, something a lot of people have used, just standard um, solder for uh, plumbing stuff and flux. I've opted to uh, braze it on uh, just because I'm a little bit more confident in my brazing abilities than I am in my soldering abilities uh, as far as pipes go. So, also going to need one of my favorite tools in the world, a step drill, and of course the actual drill to operate it. So, let's start by drilling a couple holes the right size for male pipe thread. To find out what size that is, let's open up our bags. Take a look. I'd say right about this step. So, let's drill a hole and test. So, after those are on there, we're going to put our fittings in, then solder them in place. So, So, let that cool. Doesn't matter how dumb you are, you should know not to touch that right now. So, give it a few minutes. If you want, you can... That's that. Finger tight. That'll still be cool. See, look, it's working already. starting to get a little toasty. So, that's basically it. Um, the only other thing to do is attach your hose to that fitting. Since we're not dealing with pressure and we're not dealing with really any chemicals, the hose I've selected to use to connect the uh, smoke generator, I guess we'll call it, to the car is 
aquarium airline tubing. This stuff, I got 25 feet of this for, I think, three bucks. So, use a few feet of it for this project, and then keep that around and use it for something else useful. And at the pressures that we're dealing with, you won't even need hose clamps or anything. This type of pressure you could stop with your finger. So, that's pretty much it. Um, set that down there. Um, basically, as I mentioned before, you're going to just throw a burning or an oily rag or something in there. Maybe drip a dash of gas or something in there to get it to light. Let it burn for maybe 30 seconds and then slam the top down on there. Uh, tap it down and just let it sit and smolder. Connect your air compressor. Turn down to around 2 or 3 PSI, maybe as high as 5 but don't go any higher than 5 PSI or you'll start blowing seals and stuff apart in your car. Not good. So, after you've got the uh, soldering or brazing done, that's pretty much all there is, is, all there is to this thing. So, go ahead and uh, go out and try it. And again, we'll make a video showing how it works. Thanks for watching. So not too long ago on Try This at Home, we showed you how to make a power-assisted blade. Why do I keep doing that?